Next year tonight, another Catholic church now pushing back against the Diocese of Buffalo to try and keep its doors open. St. Benedict on Main Street in Eggertsville is asking its faith community to sign a petition. Under recent recommendations as part of the road to renewal, the diocese is calling to close that church, but keep St. Benedict School open. 7 News senior reporter Eileen Buckley met with two parishioners and also spoke to the leader of the road to renewal this afternoon. If you cut us off now, you're going to get rid of all the momentum that we have and the energy that we've built up. We believe there is still viability in the parish at St. Benedict's. Parishioners at St. Benedict Church in Eggertsville are hoping the Diocese of Buffalo hears their plea to remain open. The pastor informing parishioners they will meet with the diocese to counter the closing recommendation. He also outlined how we as parishioners can continue to help the process by continuing to go to mass, um, you know, staying positive, keeping the momentum and just spreading the good news about what a great community St. Benedict's is. Our trustees are looking at the numbers, doing some comparisons and plan to have this dialogue with the diocese. Earlier this month, the Buffalo Diocese announced recommendations to close or merge more than 70 parishes. St. Benedict Masses would fold into St. Leo the Great in Amherst, but St. Benedict School would remain open. And that's a little short-sighted to think that everyone from St. Benedict's is all of a sudden going to go to St. Leo's and, and you're going to have the same revenue coming in. It's my understanding is we have the second highest St. Benedict's Mass attendance of the six churches in our family. Um, and once again, uh, I certainly don't want this to devolve into sort of a, a, a numbers game. I have St. Benedict's report right in front of me. But I spoke with Father Brian Zelineski, who leads Road to Renewal. He showed me numbers on mass attendance directly from St. Benedict's. Average weekend mass attendance. It's on the sheet and it will say 345. He then shared his screen showing more data. The end of the 22 was 345, which came right off the sheet that I just showed you. So it was information given by their parish community. But parishioners I spoke with questioned why a church with a vibrant school would close. Currently, there are about 425 students enrolled with a waiting list. People are putting a vibrant school and a vibrant parish in the same category. They're two different ent entities. We have a vibrant school at St. Benedict's, and we acknowledge that, and we want that to continue to grow, and this will provide an opportunity. Now, the diocese plan calls to keep St. Benedict's school open and would allow the school to utilize the church space. It's a second home for us, and, and we love it. St. Benedict must submit its recommendations to the diocese by July 15th. Eileen Buckley, 7 News, Eggertsville. As Eileen just touched on, parishes do have until July 15th to file an appeal to the diocese. The official list of closures will come out by September 1st. You can find the full list of recommendations by the Buffalo Diocese. It's available right now tonight at WKBW.com.